This is KLFY News 10 at 5. Hello and thanks for joining us for News 10 at 5. In St. Mary Parish, a Morgan City mother reflects on her son's life on the anniversary of his death. Today marks the two years since the murder of Jalen Walker. Police say he was killed in the 1900 block of Carmel Drive. News 10's Rodrika Taylor spoke with his mother and brings a story you will see only on 10. March 28th is forever stamped in the mind of Marcel Hoskins as it was the day her son, Jalen Walker, was killed. I thank God for me being a Christian. Um, I thank God that I, I'm strong. But it hits you in your soul, you know. It really does. It's hit, and it's, sometimes you get a little warning. Sometimes you don't. They just come. I knew this time was coming. It came very, very fast. Marcel Hoskins says the first year of losing her 29-year-old son was difficult. Each holiday that came in the first year, I had a distraction each holiday. So, um, which was a good distraction, okay? And then the next year, which is this year, reality started kicking in. Like, um, it's saying, okay, your son's not coming back. You're not going to get any phone calls. She says this year she is unsure of what to feel. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. I, I just know that um, I, we feel him here. It's very peaceful here. Um, the kids feel him here. Hoskins says Jalen leaves behind three children. For his death anniversary, she will be with them. Take the kids out, um, do some fun stuff today. Um, and just let them run around, just just do whatever they want to do. For other parents who have lost a child, she says to keep fighting. If you've lost your child and they were murdered, you have to fight the good fight of faith. You have to put on, and it's hard, but you have to put on the armor, cover yourself, Know that God is with you. In Morgan City, Rodrika Taylor, KLFY News 10. Two weeks ago on March 13th at the 15th Judicial District Court, Judge Michelle Bio sentenced Jalen Walker's killer, Zachary Markey Adams, to life in prison with hard labor.